On today's show, we've got Ford news from 3D to 24, Tesla welcomes hackers with open arms and a handful of cash, and Jaguar shows new tech that will save wheels and tires. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for June 12th of 2015. The Ford Motor Company is announcing today that it will return to the 24 Hours of Le Mans starting next year. That will mark the 50th anniversary of Ford taking the overall win with the iconic GT40. Ford will be racing a version of its all-new GT sports car and we expect it will be in the LM GTE category where it will go up against Corvettes, Ferraris, Porsches and Aston Martins. Speaking of Ford, it's offering 3D printer files that you can download and print out models of the F-150 Raptor, Shelby GT350R, Focus ST and Fiesta ST. Other models will be available later. 3D printing at home is becoming popular amongst 3D hobbyists and Ford wanted to offer its customers a chance to make their own 3D models. Professional 3D printers can create a model in materials ranging from soft plastics to sandstone and even various metals. According to Juniper Research, sales of desktop 3D printers will exceed 1 million units by 2018, up from about 44,000 sold annually in 2014. Don't have your own printer? Well, don't worry. Ford is offering 1 32nd scale models that are already printed. You can check it out at 3D.Ford.com. You know, most car companies are scared stiff of people hacking into their cars. Well, not Tesla. It welcomes them with open arms. It rewards hackers for finding weaknesses in its cars, services, and even its website. Tesla has a wall of fame where it publicly posts the names or handles of hackers who successfully hacked into its cars. Each wall of famer is sent a large coin, kind of a medallion, that is individually numbered as proof the company recognizes the hacker's accomplishment. It pays anywhere from $25 to $1,000 based on the significance of the weakness they found. Tesla still tries to find vulnerabilities on its own, but by crowdsourcing its hacking, the company is finding problems more quickly and at a far lower cost. You can click on the link in today's show notes to learn how to participate or look at the latest winners on the Wall of Fame. We'll be back with more right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Borg Warner. Feel good about driving. Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles, and by Hyundai. Learn more at Hyundai.com. The idea behind a child's booster seat is to raise them up so that the seatbelt can properly protect them. But a new solution is turning that concept on its head. Called MyFold, rather than raise a child up, it adjusts the seatbelt so it falls over the lap and doesn't rub the neck. Because of its design, MyFold is 10 times smaller than a traditional booster, but it's just as safe. This allows grandparents to store a booster seat in the glove box or door pockets, or a child riding with their friend can carry one in their backpack, and it's good for ages from 4 to 12. But you can't buy one just yet. You'll have to put your name on a waiting list, but the company's website says MyFold will be coming out soon. It doesn't give an exact price either, but in its promotional video, the inventor of MyFold says it's cheaper than the $40 rental car companies charge for a booster seat. Well, here's a great new technology every resident in Michigan needs. Jaguar Land Rover is working on a new feature to detect the location of potholes and how large they are. The company already uses sensors in some of its vehicles to monitor road surfaces and adjust ride settings. The new system scans the road surface to predict the severity of potholes and using connected car technology, the information is shared with other drivers to warn them about the potholes. JLR is also looking at how this idea could be used to improve road maintenance. As someone who drives on roads filled with potholes every day, this would be a welcome new feature. Coming up next, are flow batteries going to be a viable alternative to fossil fuels? For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work, Dow. 
There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. At this year's Geneva Auto Show, a company called Nano Flow Cell unveiled the Quant F concept, a vehicle that's powered by a flow battery, which is kind of a hybrid between a battery and fuel cell and is recharged by adding new electrolytes. But it boasts an impressive range. So is this something that has the potential to catch on? On AutoLine this week, Charlie Fries, the executive director of powertrain engineering at General Motors, talks about if flow batteries in cars are viable or just a science experiment. Well, the challenge on a, on a vehicle really is you've got to be able to refuel quickly. You've got to be able to package it on board the vehicle. And, and space is really a premium. You have two things that you really watch when you're talking about putting energy on board the vehicle. One is, is the volumetric efficiency of packaging the energy on board. The other is the mass. And both of those we watch very closely. Right now, from what we've seen, a flow battery at this point is probably going to be a little bit space intensive. So. Um, our, our direction has been that we, we are pushing toward either battery electric vehicles or fuel cell vehicles, depending upon what type of, a, of an application. There isn't really one silver bullet that solves all the needs of advanced propulsion. Different types of customers with different types of vehicle needs will be better suited with different types of technologies. And so we're trying to target the technology where it provides the best value for the customer. That's not the only topic in that show. John and his guests also dive into other alternative powertrains like fuel cells and batteries. You can watch that entire show right now on our website. That wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.